Welcome back you guys. A lot has happened since the last video, but we are in California right now and we are on the first trip we've taken in a while, especially in the Jeep with the rooftop tent. I'm super excited to take you guys along. Today is a special day, it's a special trip for a few reasons. One, because we're in California and my wife has never really seen the Sierra Nevadas, she's never been to Mammoth, she's never been to Yosemite. I thought I would take them on a trip to go see some of like California's best beauty and the mountains to see out here. And what a better place to start than the Alabama Hills. But on top of that, my son is along for the ride as well. And this is his first camping trip as a five month old. And so far it's been, as you'd expect, a lot of work, but definitely rewarding. He's been enjoying it. Um, last night was just crazy trying to get in here. We got here super late and we didn't really give ourselves enough time with obviously my son trying to travel with us but you know we're learning as we go these are the kind of things that I want to share with you guys so if you're looking to travel with a newborn then maybe you can take some advice from me but another reason to be excited is I have a new camera yeah I got the Sony a7 IV and I'm super excited to start using it I know there are so many good reviews and positive feedback I have heard about it and I mean I've, I've only had two other cameras before and this is definitely my dream camera and I'm super excited to use it on this trip. We've got a few other new things that I'll show you along the way but today we are going to be heading up to Mammoth Lakes. We're going to go check out possibly Rainbow Falls. We're going to go see some hot springs and we're going to just go see some of the beauty that Mammoth has to offer but I mean first we got to take in this view because Alabama Hills never disappoints and I'm really glad we found a spot last night. Gotta feed my son breakfast first. Now it's time for us to have some breakfast. Uh, bad news is the road to Rainbow Falls closed it looks like for the winter and I was really looking forward to going there so we're gonna have to make that a priority on the next trip next time we come up here but the good news is it led us to a place with a really nice view nice mountain ranges you got Mammoth Mountain over there so it wasn't all for nothing we're gonna head back to Mammoth and Maybe go check out the hot springs or something fun. Maybe do a little hike if we got some energy today. Not all of us got great sleep, so we'll see. Levi, look over here. Hi, baby. Got the baby bundled up. Say hello. Say hello. Are you excited to be out of the car? We're going to go somewhere. And when I say 
lunch for us. I mean, lunch for him first. He's doing a good job eating on the go, sleeping on the drives. And trust me, he's enjoying the views. He only wants to be outside. Thank you. You trying to eat your own milk by yourself? One thing we're learning is when you're in colder climates and higher altitude, a lot of times if you have a little one, they don't do as well. So we're gonna have to come back here another time. Maybe in the sunrise, I might come back. But we're gonna just take a quick look. It's still really beautiful. Well, we're not camping in the tent today because when you sometimes when you have to bring your family, or when you get to bring your family, you have to make everyone happy. And some people like to have a shower every other day and be able to use the bathroom. So, and also it's a lot colder in Mammoth, so it just makes more sense to stay in an Airbnb, which we got. Cute little place, so we'll go check out the room. Oh, Alright, let's check it out. You the chair. Nice bathroom, big king bed. Window. Looks like we have a mini fridge in here too. Oh, look at that. See what kind of view we got. Oh, perfect view. Nice. Good morning, y'all. If you're wondering why I always call these trips and not vacations, it's because on a vacation you sleep in, you relax, you don't really go anywhere or do much. But I don't sleep in. I don't take it easy. I get up for pretty much every sunrise on a trip. So I'm enjoying it. Sometimes when you get to bring your family along, you do things to make them happy, like getting them a Airbnb for the night so we have a shower and a nice bed. And in return, they'll let you do something like get up for sunrise while your son sleeps in. And uh, I'm grateful we have that kind of compromise. Let's go see what the view looks like today. <sighs> what a beautiful morning. I would say it was all to myself, but this is a bit of a photography spot. Nonetheless, still gorgeous. I would say it's a pretty successful sunrise mission. Yeah, Yosemite, here we come. such a beautiful drive 
I'm excited to see the rest of it and what we've got in store. Yosemite Valley. We got Yosemite Falls behind us. Levi's bottle's getting prepped right now. We're gonna figure out what to do with the rest of our day. But it's Levi's first time and it's Alexis's first time. What do you think, babe? It's awesome. Yeah, beautiful, huh? What do you think, Levi? He has no words. It's that good. So we're gonna make ourselves some lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna feed him right here with the view. Alright, we're heading back. We only had time for lunch and to look at Yosemite Falls because well, we have a baby, so we have to temper our our expectations with what we can see. But also, it was getting late, and our campground, sadly, is about 35, 40 minutes away. And so it's going to take some time to get there, and it's first come, first serve. And if you know anything about Yosemite, you know that it fills up really fast, even in the off-season. But uh, we're going to hope that we get a good spot there. It is just so beautiful here. I've never seen it with the fall colors. We're going to get a lot of good shots and footage tomorrow. We're going to go see some really cool stuff. We're going to go up to a little something called Glacier Point tomorrow that I've never been to. None of us have ever been to. But if you've ever heard of it or seen pictures, you'll know that's going to be something worth checking out. So stay tuned. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. We're gonna make a quick dinner, um, but I'm not gonna film it because it's getting late. We want to get up early so we can head back to Yosemite Valley. Levi is going to sleep right now, so we're gonna keep it quiet. It's just gonna be a nice, quick, peaceful night, and we're gonna get some sleep. Stay nice and warm with that diesel heater. I've got a few other really nice mods that just cheap stuff, but it's like makes a big difference when you're camping. Another one is like a paper towel holder right here. But I've got quite a few more, a shoe holder for the tent and things like that, just on the inexpensive side that does makes a big difference, honestly, and not gonna break the bank. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video on something like that, like some of my inexpensive little camping hacks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some shut eye, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It was a good night last night. We slept pretty well. It was a little warm at first. I believe I was moving a lot, but we, Still kind of like working out the kinks of the tent and sleeping in it and everything all together. So last night we were sleeping and it was in the middle of the night. It was probably like three or four in the morning and we heard this loud boom and sounded like a almost like thunder. And Alexis was already kind of awake and she's like, I think it might have been like a bear or something. So we peeked out and we saw like a giant black figure moving in the in the trees and we saw what we think was a bear and I ended up talking to the ranger about it this morning and he kind of confirmed he said yeah that was most likely a black bear but he must have been pounding on a bear box because that was such a loud boom I looked for tracks this morning but couldn't find any but that was really cool and on another note the diesel heater has been working so well it keeps it so warm in there there's no risk of fire or anything it's super safe it's really easy the diesel lasts forever I mean I can't say enough about the diesel heater. It was such a good investment. I wish I would have done it sooner. I took two thermometers, one inside the tent, one outside. Last night, outside, it got down to 34 degrees. That was at 7 a.m. It could have been a little colder. And in the tent, same time, it was 75 degrees. And the humidity was really low in the tent too, which tells you that it's not a very humid kind of heat. It's not a very wet heat. It's a very dry heat. 
which, you know, to some, maybe it'll kind of dehydrate you through the night a little bit, but I don't really seem to notice too bad of a difference. Um, I really think that it's just worth it to stay nice and toasty in there. And honestly, a lot of times we were actually kind of hot. We would have to turn it off or turn it down, but we love the diesel heater and he loves the diesel heater because he's able to come with us on little trips. Isn't that right, buddy? And right now he's all bundled up. He got his little reindeer outfit and he is just enjoying walking around with his daddy. Mommy's gonna make breakfast this morning and we're gonna get going. We're gonna try to spend as much of today as we can in the valley and uh, we're gonna probably see some really cool spots, check out the fall colors, maybe go to a waterfall or two. And to finish off today, we're gonna go to Glacier Point, which if you haven't heard of, you're gonna wanna stick around to see it. It's gonna be epic. Someone got a little cozy, just hanging out with us while we're packing up, I guess putting him to sleep. Cool is this, you guys? We are out here in a foresty wonderland with fall colors as far as the eye can see. I'm loving this camera. Things been performing better than I could have expected. Let's keep exploring. Say hi, Levi. Mm. Can you tell the people where we are? <laughs> Where's Daddy? I'm right Where's here. Daddy? There's Daddy. <gasps> Exactly. <laughs> We're doing the hike to Lower Yosemite Falls. It's a pretty easy two mile round trip with the baby. It's a perfect hike for us. Say hi, Levi. Say no puppy. We're gonna go see a, a waterfall. The lower falls is actually got a decent amount of water coming down. The upper falls is more of a trickle this time of the year. But we do plan to come back in the spring so we can catch that snow melt making the waterfalls giant. But right now, we just want to go on a little walk, get the boy out, let him look around a little, and go see a waterfall. Levi, say hi. Hello. Yeah? First impressions. Speechless, huh? Yeah? Uh. I'd say it's pretty gorgeous. sets back in. Yeah, we're gonna take a nice car ride. You can take a nice nap and we're gonna go up to Glacier Point now. Let's go check that out, Levi. Okay? You gonna feel better? having a baby on the trip. He was very hungry. He hadn't gone to the bathroom yet today. And he was crying uncontrollably and it was very frustrating. It was very difficult to say the least. But you know, you have to be patient with them. Especially on a trip like this. They don't know where they're at. They're out of their comfort zone. 
and he ended up going, and now he's happy. It's fine. We're gonna move on with our day. We're gonna eat some lunch. Check out this view we got for lunch. Look at that, straight through the windshield. Oh yeah, Glacier Point, baby. We're gonna go check it out after lunch. was beyond my expectations. Levi is just like at a loss for words. I mean, he thought it was incredible. That was the spot to top off this trip. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go home. We're gonna go camp for the night. Yeah, we gotta go because it's his bedtime. Amazing trip, beautiful sunset. I think that was just the icing on the cake. And now it's time to head home. We're gonna camp tonight, we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna head back home and plan our next trip to come back here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you enjoyed seeing the camping content, if you enjoyed seeing uh, things about the baby and how to camp with the baby let me know if you'd like to see a video on that and I'll see you guys in the next one